In this video, we're going to explore the Bevel tool. Now, I love the Bevel tool. I think the Bevel tool is probably one of my favorite tools inside of Moto. And uh, you're going to find that you're going to be using the Bevel tool all the time. Um, so let me show you how to use the Bevel tool. I'm in my Basic Tools under my Modeling tab. And you can find the Bevel tool right here. So let's select some polygons because everything inside of Moto uh, is dependent upon a selection. So notice that I'm in the polygon selection set and I want to select this front facing polygon right here, that guy right there. Let's activate the bevel tool by clicking on this icon or hitting the B key. Now because you're going to be using this tool so much, it's in your best interest to kind of commit this, uh, this tool to, to memory. So the B key, B for bevel. So let's activate the tool and like everything inside of Moto, we don't really apply the tool or the operation to the selected geometry until we click in the 3D viewport. So let's click in the viewport, and you're going to notice that we get two handles. We get this blue handle with a little arrow on top, and a red handle with the square on top. Let's explore what each one of these tool does. Um, I'm going to mouse over the blue handle, and notice that it turns yellow, denoting that this is the tool handle that I'm currently going to be using. The blue handle controls the shift category. So if I click and drag that blue handle, watch what happens. Look at that. This is kind of cool. I can pull out that that uh, that polygon that we had selected. Okay, so it's controlling this little value right here, the shift value. Okay, the red handle, the one with a little square on it, it's going to be controlling the inset. So let's left click and drag on the red handle and see what happens. I'm scaling that selected polygon now. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, one other thing, I want to hit the space bar to drop the tool. And I want to hit undo real quick because I want to show you another option of the bevel key. I'm just going to hit the B key real, real fast to activate the tool. And um, notice that we have one other parameter down here that I want to bring your attention to. This is the group polygons command. Now I want to uh, select a, a couple polygons here. Yeah, so I have these three polygons here. I'm going to activate the bevel tool one more time. And uh, I want to show you what happens or what the difference is between having group polygons on and off. Okay, so group polygons is on, and notice that it it's uh, it's trying to scale all three of those selected polygons as if they were one. Okay, so that's what the group polygon command looks like when it's on. Kind of cool. Get some interesting shapes. Okay, let's see what happens. I want to undo that. Let's see what happens when we do it again with group polygons off. Now each of the selected polygons is acting independently. Okay, so the group polygons command is going to try to bevel the selected polygons as if they were individual with it off, or as if they were all one gigantic polygons with its on, with, when the group polygons is on. Okay, okay, uh, I want to show you another one. That's kind of a cool shape. I, I mentioned before that the bevel command works differently depending on which type of 3D component that you have selected. So we're going to select the edges. Okay, let's just select some edges here. And uh, I'll grab the guys at the top, a little bit easier to see. And I'm just holding the shift key as I select those edges. Okay, so once again, we're going to go back over to our basic tool fire off the bevel tool, but because we're in edge mode and because we have the edges selected, the bevel tool is going to uh, behave and operate just a little bit differently. Once again, we haven't applied the tool to our 3D geometry until we've uh, clicked in the 3D viewport. So let's click in the 3D viewport. We have our tool handle now. Let's left click and drag it. And you can see that once I start dragging up on it, we're starting to round out those selected edges. Now the uh, the quality of this of this round surface here, of this radius, is dependent upon the round level. The default is zero. Mine set at six, and we can we can march this uh, value up and down just by left clicking on these arrows, or we can enter in a value. Okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. So we can add more geometry and segments in here depending on how round we are. Now, if we have it at a round level of zero, we just kind of get a straight corner kind of a uh, straight chamfer. So that's kind of cool. So that's what happens when we use the, revel, uh, the bevel tool in conjunction with edge selection. Now, let me show you one other thing here. I want to show you what it looks like when we have vertices selected. And the easiest way to illustrate that is to have a two-dimensional plane. So I'm just going to draw out just a very simple box. And it looks like we're on the wrong side. So I'm going to flip around. There we go. And I want to select all the vertices at the edges of this plane. OK. Now, once again, we're going to go back to our basic tools, find the bevel, or hit the B key. 
and we're going to click in the viewport to activate the tool. Again, our familiar uh, handle down here at the square on top. And again, if we left click and drag, you can see that we're splitting the vertices at each one of the corners into an, and it's kind of rounding them out and it's splitting them into a series of, uh, of vertices. And like the edge bevel, the vertex bevel is looking at this round level value to determine how, how much resolution it's adding in between these two points. So at a round level of zero, we're just getting a straight line, kind of a straight chamfer on the edges. But if we increase that, we're adding new vertices. And we really are adding vertices. And I can show you that. Let me, uh, I want to hit the O key on my keyboard to bring open my viewport properties. Yours might be under drawing and control, but I'm in the visibility tab. And we have this great nifty difty little uh, uh, option here to show the vertices. And you can see that we really did add new vertices here when we did the vertex bevel. Okay. One, more, one other thing. Um, the bevel tool works in conjunction with a tremendous amount of different polygon types. I'm going to create just a little cylinder here. And uh, I want to, if we select this top polygon and run the bevel tool once again, see, we can e it even works with, uh, you know, cylinders and end gons. Um, it works uh, in conjunction with the shift uh, key, which is the reactivation of the tool. So if I wanted to bring, you know, this edge, this polygon out to make a little lip, I could hold down the shift key and click in the empty part of my viewport like so. And now it's reactivated the tool. Okay, see, so look, I'm kind of growing out a little edge there, a little lip on the top of my cylinder. So if I do this again, I want to hold down the shift key and left click. Now I can bring up my shift like so. And I can continue to edit and model just using this one tool. You can do so much with the bevel tool. Let's, let me show you another example here. I'm just going to do a little paint selection on the side of my cylinder. Fire off the bevel tool click and each one of those is now getting scaled and uh, and uh, and uh, moved out independently now be because we have group polygons turned off each one of these polygons is getting um, uh, edited independently but if we had it turned on the entire group will get edited as a, as if they were one gigantic polygon okay so that's the bevel tool it's really easy to use it, it just follows a couple basic simple parameters and we can use it pretty much with any type of 3D geometry whether it be polygons, end gons, edges or vertices. Um, so it's you're going to you're going to find yourself using this tool all the time. So it's a good idea to commit it to memory. You can find it in a number of different places in the the Moto interface, but the most easiest place to find it is under the basic tools right here. It's the bevel tool, keyboard shortcut B. The bevel tool. It's really easy and you're going to be using it all the time.